Hello friends, welcome to the Azure DevOps tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will create the query in Azure DevOps and we will see like how this query is useful for Azure DevOps board. So let's understand like what is the query in Azure DevOps. So basically query in Azure DevOps is used to filter the work item. Like suppose we are having lot of the work item like related to the bug, epic features and user story, anything is there and we want to filter it out or we want some specific uh, record from the uh, like Azure DevOps board then in that kind of scenario we use the query. Suppose I want to uh, see like how many bugs are created then what I can do I can create a query this will give me the uh, output of the like number of the query and what all are the query is there so in that kind of scenario we use the query in Azure DevOps so basically we can filter work item with many scenario if we want to filter data for assigned user if we want bug or user story we can get data based on the query so these kind of scenario we use the query so let's understand like how we create the query and how we retrieve the data based on the query in Azure DevOps so let's go to the Azure DevOps so these are the project which we have created and we are going to see this query using this basic project so I have clicked basic process so once I click on this basic project basically so once you hover on that project you can see the query either you can go from here or once you will click on this uh, board you will see the query so when I click on this query here we can see like the query tab and we are looking like title folder and last modified by this we are looking here and when like currently we are we are not having any favorite query that's why there is no record and when we go on the all tab here we can see they are we are looking something like my query and shared query so the meaning of the shared query is like suppose we have created a query which is shared with all the team members suppose a top management want to see the number of the bug for the team then those kind of query what we can do we can create a shared query so anyone can see either the team member or the top management or stakeholder anyone can see like how many are bug is there how many work item user story so based on that query so these query will be common for all and anyone can see those query so like to that's why all the shared query comes under this like this shared query and now next is like assigned to me and followed work item so basically these are the some query which is already given by azure devops we if we want we can edit all these query but uh, they have given like in assigned to me when i click on this assigned to me i will see like here we are looking apex issue and other things which is assigned to me so we can see like when i click on this login portal for teacher we can see here it is assigned to me that's why it is giving this result even if i will click on this epic we can see it is assigned to me so all the data is uh, as, like uh, it is giving these many record because all the tickets is assigned to me and if you want to see the query what you can do in here you looking for the editor so when you will click on this editor we can see here like here it is saying like give me the out result where it is giving the field assigned to equal to me that's why it is giving me the error and if you want to add any column to this so what we can do add now on which condition like add and or or so you can select any logical here and what i want to see i want to see like work item type so what kind of work item type you want so you can select from here so like i want to select only the issues so what you can do just select the issue and run this query from here so once you will run this query it will give me all the issues which is assigned to me so this kind of scenario we use the query to filter out the data so let's understand like how we create the query and all these things from basic so let's discard it as of now so what we can see here like let's go to the all so basically in the favorite now you are looking like continue where you left so recently we were looking into this that's why it is showing to us like continue where you left so let's go to the all and here we are looking like followed work item so what work item we are following so those result it is showing here and in the right corner side like here in the right side you are looking when we hover on the particular item or query we can see here it is showing as a 
add to favorite so once i click on this add to favorite and i go to this favorite here we can see it is showing that particular uh, query under this my favorite so that is the use of this let's go to all and now what we are going to do we are going to create a new query so let's create on the new query so once i click on the new query so like what what query you want to create we can create here so currently by default it is um, saying work item type so here what i am going to select like here you can see there are so many fields you can select anything so what i'm going to uh, do like assign to and i'm going to click operator so here so many operators are there like equal to not equal to greater than small smaller than so any operator which you uh, need you can and i'm going to select like which is assigned to munish sharma and like what i want to check here anything like there are so many things you can select anything from here i am going to select the work item so once i select any work item i i am looking here for the issue so once i click uh, like select issue and run this query we will see the two records here because these two record assigned to me so that is the way we can create the query in azure devops now i want to save this query like for my future if i want to check then what you can do you can click on the save query it will ask like what kind of name you want to give so we can give the name like query which is assigned to me and like which folder you want to create you can select so i'm going to select as a my query and if i will click ok so it will show like now you go to the query and here in all if you will go we will see like in under my query you you are looking like query which is assigned to me if you want you can make it as a add to favorite also and if you want to create any folder even you can create the folder in any tab like my query or shared query and under that folder you can save that particular query so let's click on that query we will play around this query only here if you want to rename we can rename that particular query as well and here you are looking like three dotted button so once you click on this three dotted button what we can do we can do the column option so this column option we have seen in the previous tutorial here we handle the columns things if we want to add remove something we can take in care from this column option and email query suppose i want to email this query then you can email this query once you will click on this email here you have to give the email name like email id and any note if you want to give if you will send it it will send that particular query uh, to the particular email id which you have given so like now let's uh, go to the email and see like we got that uh, mail or not uh, let's send that mail to in another email basically so what i'm going to select i'm going to select this mail id this dot net office 16 and here if you want to give the subject and note and send it so once we send it it will go to that uh, respective email which we, um, we have selected just now now let's uh, go to that email which we have given as a dot net office 16 at the red gmail.com so once i'll go to that particular email the email will come to that particular mail id which we have given just now so let's go to that email id and when i we come to that particular email id we can see here we are looking like the uh, query which is assigned to me that name which we have given and here we are looking the output and here if i will click on this query which is assigned to me it will open that particular query to us here it is looking directly like we can open it directly here and if we want to export that particular query into the csv format we can download it here and we can see the output in the csv format and we can share that csv format to anyone wherever we need it and even if we will click on this copy query url we can copy it and like we can open it if it is a private uh, like project then we have to sign in otherwise it will be accessible to anyone if the project visibility is public so in that manner you can create the query and you can manage the query and apart from this like there's uh, so many other things like um, like if you want to like go to the editor here if you will go into the editor if you want to add another cloud so you can add any another clause like i want to click the state what kind of state you want like if i will uh, select any state equal to and here so many state are there like accept active closed design if i will 
click on active let's see because currently state is doing so it will not give any result if i will run this query we will see there is no result and if i will select doing then it should give me the result of that two query so we are looking that two queries here so uh, in this way like for basically to getting the data uh, we use the query in azure devops so like you can play around all these things like how we create the query the basic thing i have explained like uh, in which manner you want to create it if you want to share that query you want to download that query through url we can accept it and like how we create the query how make that query particular as a favorite query so all these things we have seen here and you can play around like different type of the clouds like how it is working so in that way and particular query if you want to save you can save it if you want as a save as we can do that we can rename that particular query name so like in that way you can play around to get knowledge more on the query in azure devops so that's it for this tutorial if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you